hey guys it's Robsy back with paperless student in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can save pdf files on your ipad from the internet i've had this question asked a couple of times so i just decided that i'm just going to do a short tutorial and a short video for you guys because i am still studying for my exams but i just decided to take a short break and just do this video so basically i am recording this video on my ipad the 2018 ipad and i'm also going to edit it on the same ipad because ever since i did the unboxing for the 2018 ipad this has been my main ipad actually it's the only ipad that i've been using now i will be doing a full review of this ipad once i'm done with my exams so in this video i'm just going to show you guys how you can save files from the internet on your ipad and there's basically two ways that you can do this. The first one is that you can save actual web pages. The second option is that you can download files, basically any Word file. I just basically use the Safari app and you'll need iBooks to do this. I'll just look for an article on my website and then I'll just open that article. And then I will make sure that I put it in reading mode. So once it's in reading mode, it will remove all the adverts and all the other parts of the website that's not really important. And then I'll export this save as PDF to iBooks. So now it's creating the PDF and then it will come and open the PDF. So now I'm just going to export it and I will print. And then once you have your print preview, you then zoom in. And then you can export it to whatever application you want. So I'm just going to export this to GoodNotes. And so I'll have my article. So here's the article. Now it's a PDF. You can annotate it. You can do anything you want with it. And now the second part that I'm going to show you guys is when you already have a PDF that has been sent to you via Dropbox, for example, you tap the link and you actually open this PDF. I already have mine open. You just go to export it and you just choose which application you want. I don't have a lot of applications on my ipad so that's why i'm not really having a lot of options but a lot of applications support this feature so it's not just notability i already have these notes and so here they are i hope you liked this video and i hope it was useful for you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what you guys think about the new ipad i have been using it so far i really like it and i think it's a good buy but i will tell you guys more about it in the video that i'm going to do the full review until next time i I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.